Hello and welcome to the worst day of my life. On stream earlier this week, I stream at twitch.tv slash fafari underscore the underscore undead. I fucking died in a flipping, flipping, in flipping lava while mine, mining for diamonds. So, the good thing is, I have plenty of villagers to get recreate all the enchantments I needed, and also plenty of diamonds, but, like, the fact that I have to recreate all my stuff again is flipping irritating. <laughs> now, once we're done, once we're, once we actually get the art enchants done, we're going to start the, start doing some layout th stuff. Because... Well, I have start. I've started the other village over there. I don't know what to build there. So today we're going to start off with a little, a little bit of layout and a small build on this side in the university. Now the university is basically just a. It's basically meant to be an, an in lore place where people study, and it's meant to be what attracts people to the town. Like, you have the university over here, which is going to be mainly just a library, and a, like a few, and maybe a few dorms, then, or maybe in a few dorms, and then there'd be the docks here, there'd be the dock walls, and then the actual docks are over there, around, not quite as far as that other village, but a little bit closer. And I need to set up the paths between so that I don't end up, you know, using too much space because it's very easy to make things happen to be too close together. For example, my color storage and the in the chapel over there, which is going to be that's going to be fun to put together. But yeah, this. But yeah, <laughs> gotta help you back with once I'm done with the enchants. Earlier today, I did some prep work, doing a bunch of demolition to make room for the two, for projects I want to get done today. So here's a short little time lapse of me doing that. And now that you've seen that time lapse, let's go look at one of the things I did a after that time lapse. You can start, you can see it now, which is, well, <gasps> this ridiculous thing. Look at it. Look at it. It is a ridiculous sized wheat field. Like, it's, it's quite big. The wheat field is very important because I need a lot of mud for the path blocks that I'm, for the paths that I'm making. Like, let's just show, show you what one of the paths I'm making. I tore down this little trail of trees here. And this little S. And it's necessary. And the, I'm going to need so many path blocks and stuff to create a little path that extends here. Create a little bridge. And do all that. Which is going to take a bit. Now, of course, I don't have any plant. I don't know how I'm going to make that look good. So, but first, we're going to be... We're going to do a. Pro we're going to relocate the librarians who helped us so much earlier today. <sighs> because I did lose all my stuff. I gained. I did get it back, but you know, I I did lose it first. So we should give the librarians that made all that possible a little home, a little library, a little library. Here's the materials I need. For, I, I I gathered earlier for the lot for the library. All of this granite, all of the steep slate, all the spruce and dark oak, twice as many bookshelves, all these bricks, the terracotta and the nether bricks, 
dripstone, glass, iron bars. These are for custom trees. Like, I had to gather so much stuff. So much stuff for this build. And I hope you enjoy it. Let's cut to a short little time lapse. I built a build, I built a build. Look at it, look at the build. The library, the great library is done. And it's producing iron golems. Um, that's not intended. But, look at it, the little custom trees. that are really quite simple. It's a little spindly trunk made of dark oak fences. And on the interior, I've managed to get all of the librarians in. I just look at it, it feels nice to be in. The little reception area. And like, little chair areas. I think most everybody, most of the villagers happen to have congregated upstairs, which is unfinished because I don't have enough bookshelves because uh, getting enough bookshelves is going to take a while. Um, Next question. Now, Currently, I'm getting doing getting, getting some progress on the terraforming around the build. Because I want them to have the city feel nice to live in. And the original train was a bit rough. It would have been a bit hard to make look reasonable around it. Because I had to be terrible for actually building roads and stuff. Which, I'm going to be building roads. Or in the, <laughs> probably starting to building a lot of the roads in the next episode. But yeah, like, we're, we're getting some infrastructure in. Because, you know, that's the that's the thing that you need. You're like, yes, at the, po at the point where I am, I'm largely doing lore projects. Which I am quite considering to actually doing, like, roleplay segments. Though, the problem with doing roleplay is, by myself, is that would be a pain in the butt. <laughs> Doing any sort of roleplay segment. Now there's one thing I'm not going to be doing. And that's building a realistically graded uh, road. Because a realistic road would up, go up like one meter. Every like couple hundred blocks. That ain't happening here. Like to get that sort of scale would require this build be thousands of blocks long. And... Ain't nobody got time for that. Like, I already have plenty of other projects I need to do, like <laughs> designing the mecha build and doing building the city and getting the other village done and getting that village done. And because like I haven't put in paths there yet. So yeah, we are currently setting up the we're gonna be setting up a little road up from the we need a road to go up from here, up past the library, and towards, we'll probably be towards and curve and have it like, like the city is going to be the only place where I'm going to be doing more of a gridded road. So it's, we have the central road here, it's like the main street that goes along here. Yeah, this area is going to be a pain to design. And then it'll turn there. Yeah, as, as I said earlier, this is where I'm going to be building the docks. And so having the road basically probably end around here, having this be like a little viewing platform. It can turn, and then you, and if you wanted to get down into the, to the, down there, you go around here, and then towards the docks. Now, of course, we need to actually get the basic 
roads, paths set up because as some people have said, I want to make this build very, I want it to feel like good, which requires them not being overly close to each other when I can help it. Like, it's okay for builds to be close, but like, there's a level of closeness that's too much. Okay, thinking a grade of maybe three or four blocks per meter is probably a reasonable grade here. Probably. Whether it is or isn't is, um, well, actually, we could probably test that out. So, we probably want the road to start going up, start going down around there. Which is going to be kind of a pain because I don't have scaffolding anymore. <laughs> Even so, yeah, I don't have any, uh, I also don't have any string. I mean, don't have a mob farm, so where in the heck would I get string? So, we have this go, we'll go like this along. I think, I think there's enough room for four blocks per meter. Now, the reason I'm placing the block underneath there like that is because then I can actually make the I can make the road include slabs and stuff and like also do like path blocks and have it actually work with that. Now the road's probably gonna be made out of similar material to the to that in in the city. It's gonna be a mix of mud, bricks, and stone, cobblestone, all that. Um very much so taking inspiration from uh Pixel Riss, uh ancient capital build because I really like his roads. They're ridiculously good. <laughs> okay, so that actually works. I could even do a steeper, I could even do a more shallow grade. Though, having enough room for a, a like a diet, having a road here. And we also need enough room for a road to go here. Because you know, I already I have this tavern build here, though. <laughs> my tavern build looks so much like one of my starter builds. It's ridiculous. Like, this is very much so in the same vein as all the builds in the starter village. Which it feels weird to say, considering it was my first big build. Look at it! Look, look! I'm short! I, I'm having to repair my shovel again, which is, like, annoying, but, because, like, you'd expect the shovel to last a while, but due to the fact that I need so much dirt and stuff for the, for the, uh, terraforming that I've been doing, like, I've, I've, or I've killed, I think I've almost killed my shovel, like, three or four times. <laughs> like, seriously, this is ridiculous. But yeah, I'm making decent progress on the getting the shape of the road down. Though, I have relocated it slightly so that it actually is in alignment with here. Which means, uh, so it's an 11 wide road from here and then 11 wide here. Which I think works quite well. Having these as like the two main streets. We'll probably have another road here. Like, I mean, like right here. Oh, that's gonna be annoying having to refly on that. Oh well. And then like this will and then like the and then yeah. <laughs> but like I need so many thousands more dirt than I currently have to actually get the shapes finished. And also this area is gonna be a bit of a pain. Don't I promise I also don't know what exactly I'm gonna be building here. Though I do wanna preserve some amount of sight lines. I kinda like that being visible from here a little bit. Or maybe from, hmm, this is probably the angle at which I want to be visible. So, doing my best to keep this area a little bit flatter will be work quite well. Yeah, I'll probably have to finish all the rest of that in between episodes. There is one last thing I need to show you. On the other side of the wheat field, I've set up a little, like the outline of a little shanty area, like a poor town here. Which I think works quite well. <laughs> so like they have this little like townhouse type thing. You have these little row houses. And I think look really nice. 
And like from here, you have the row houses that go up, and then above, the, and then you, above them, you'd see this little storage setup. Though I might end up moving the storage a little bit lower, depending. But yeah, having this little chant shanty area, which I'll probably be, which I'll finish, which I'll start, which I'll start construction. I'll I'll start construction on in the next episode. If you have an idea on, um. Uh, like people and businesses that could be in the rooms along here. I, it'd be nice and appreciated. But yeah, I hope you've been enjoying this video. If you, you did, please leave a like. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. Please go check out my Twitch at twitch.tv slash favorite underscore the underscore undead. And if you, and yeah, see you in the next one. Bye! Doop! Doot doot do do ba 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 da ba